It's Sunday morning, I've got my spray sheets. We've had three mil of rain in the early hours of the morning, which I didn't expect. So it's a little bit sticky, but I've given it an hour and a half. By the time I've filled up, hopefully we won't be making a mess when we go out spraying. Just filled up and you can see by the puddle behind me, it's now raining. Anyway, it shouldn't go off in the tank, so I'll just uh, have to wait for the rain to stop and to dry off again. I've just come across this field of wheat behind the yard to see how the barley's getting on in the bottom of it. And to be honest, it's pretty, it's pretty dry. So, because it had been so dry, it's took, it's took the rain, so it's not sticky or slimy on the top, which is good. So it means as soon as it stops falling from the sky and the, the weeds have dried, if you will, I'll be able to go. You know, let's have a look what this spring barley's doing in the bottom of the wheat, see how it's getting on. It's doing really well in the tram lines. It's doing pretty well in the rows where there's sort of gaps in the wheat. But when you get into it, it's, it's only little now at the bottom. You see at the bottom there, it's where it's sort of like starved for light, it's right behind. Where there's a gap in the wheat, it's getting away. So hopefully, look over here maybe a bit better. See little rows in the bottom down there. It's a bit hard to spot, to be honest, on the camera. See, that's it down the tram line, getting away. But in the crop, it's just there. So hopefully, it'll sort of stay suppressed by the wheat crop. Once the wheat comes off, hopefully it'll just bounce up and we'll be able to harvest some spring barley after the wheat. So fingers crossed we got the timing right. Shame we didn't quite get the, the GPS file right to get it right in the middle of the rows, but we can try it again next year, can't we? It's pretty hard to spot. We drove a drill through this only a few weeks ago, isn't it? There's also tufts of barley sticking out of it, but now the wheat's kind of overtaken the barley. So the barley sort of like necked over and the wheat's come up through. We'll see if we can see the clover coming up anyway. To be honest, the drill went down here. Can't see any clover whatsoever. That's, that's a bit. So maybe that is as well. Certainly not growing as well as the spring barley is. It's gone fine. I've checked the radar pictures. It looks like we're good to go. So also it's not raining. I'm gonna to go to Rain Hill. It's called Rain Hill, but it's not been raining there. So I'm gonna shoot up there, and get going. Just arrived at Rain Hill. The track is dry, which is good. It's looked a little like it's rained here for a good few hours. And there's my favourite field of barley. So hopefully the crop's dry, we're gonna go and spray, so we'll go and get it done. Yeah, if you look, plants are dry at the bottom. Beans are coming on well. Some are actually just starting to flower, which I don't really want them to do yet. I'd sooner them be sort of a good foot higher before they start flowering. But we'll see, maybe. I don't even think they've had the three mil of rain I've had overnight in the other yard, to be honest. A bit of moisture down there, but not a lot. I'm really pleased with this field, although it was sumoed and then we used the avatar as well. But it's a hell of a stand of beans, to be fair. Blue skies, yet. Spots on the window, no. Well, luckily just got a few spots and then it brightened up, so I've managed to finish the field. So, on to the next now. Just gonna have to wait at the level crossing. There's a train further down the line. So I'm just waiting for that and then we can go. Here he comes. Choo choo. That's going quite fast, isn't it? Well, it makes you dizzy that. At least the crossing's here this time. It's not been stolen. Got back to HQ and they've had half a mil of rain here, so I'm gonna get me dinner, let it dry off a bit. I've left the beacons on them. I thought I'd just show you this field. That's where the muck heap was. There's a little bit of a patch there. But I've gone all the way around the outside of it. And if you go on here, productivity, I've done 40, sorry, 51% of the field already just doing it once around the outside. It's nuts how big headlands add up to. A little butterfly there. Right, this is the drill trial. So this was, Avatar sewing into sumoing. Then 
avatar straight into stubble. Looks great to be honest. Then, Claydon. Now, to be honest, this is quite poor, but we hadn't properly got it set up yet. But we didn't mess around, but it's not particularly buried it. I think the rooks have had it. Then we got it set up a bit better here. But then I don't know what went wrong here. And then this is the Claydon into Sue mode ground, which is good again. No, it's not, sorry. That's into Sue mode ground. That is the Claydon once it was set up better. But there's a bit of a hollow there and it didn't quite follow it. But the other fields I'm going to do are Claydon with better setup perhaps. So I wouldn't say that I wouldn't write the dr drill off. It is a really good bean drill. It's just it had been drilling cereals last and we probably not got the depth quite right on here. But the avatar straight to stubble, which is a treat, I think. Fast tracks early its keep today, car in some root zone, which is like a soil conditioner from Everton's football club at the Goodison Park. I'll go and show you it, it's like amazing stuff and it's great for putting on really heavy ground that's just like sticky and horrible. This is it, it's it's when they take the old pitch up, they basically flail it off. You end up with this really nice, well, soil conditioner, I suppose, root zone. So where you've got like heavy clay patches, like this corner of this field here, put that on it and it transforms it. The far bit there's soil out the yard for filling this hole in that used to flood by the pylon. But we'll probably put a dust in and that over the top as well. They've been doing it today because they've got to go through the city centre and the roads are quite quiet, but they're going to have to knock off early because there's a parade with the Liverpool bus. They didn't win, but there's still a parade because they've won two other trophies, so um, traffic's going to get busy. So it's about three o'clock now, we're going to have to knock off, I think, at half three. The fence had blown over in the wind, and I've just, like, I don't know what's the word, skewered it, grabbed it, made contact with it with the brake back. That had come over and it had just hooked in here, so it's took a bit with me. I'll have to untangle it. It's even got barbed wire fastened into it, and it's quite heavy as well. It's like properly tangled in. That's it. Ta-da! Better move that so we don't end up with it in the combine, it won't do much good. Thrown it back there over the fence. I actually don't know whether it was the wind or whether it was a car crashed off this road and knocked it, but it was properly swinging in and I thought I was just going to miss it, but it didn't, it just scooped it up. Just about to fill up again. And I want a little bit more of that sky than that sky. Can't decide what it's going to do. It's all right over there as well. This is another field sown with the clay and, and it's a little bit Patchy, there's the odd ones eating, and I think that's rooks or crows or pigeons or whatever. It probably would have been better if it had got rolled tight, but that's another job. So, I, I, the more I think about it, the more I actually think that the, that the horse is a better drill for being trapped. So, I think next year we'll do even more with the horse as like a, a second year trial and cut back a little bit with the claim a bit more. Another block finished, quick scoop down the road, and block up there, two fields, sort of a 10 hectare and a 20 hectare, and I've done all the beans. Better just turn the radio down, danger zone is back in the charts. I'll just show you this, this was grass if you remember, we sort of nearly got stuck working it out this year, but looks good now. This field was also drilled straight with the clay in, and I think it looks amazing. So um, maybe I was wrong before to say that I wasn't happy with the clay in some of the conditions. It is a little bit lighter ground though. But look as well how straight the lines are with the RTK. It's absolutely perfect for the SIM card that we put in. Uh, what was it off the RTK network? It's brilliant. Looks okay this field though. It's actually giving a little bit of rain all week, which would be good. I could do with it raining and then everything will grow. It's 
especially the beans, they like water. While the wash tank's filling, I'll do the birthday bump. I've loads today. Phil Tuckwell, Alfie Abs, Janet White, Mark O'Hanlon, Paul Doomy Dyer, Dwyer, I don't know, Chris Talbot, 40, Johnny Forshaw, Mark Hurd, Ted Stark, Alex Hodges, 50, Lewis McWhirter is 7. So happy birthday, everyone. That's probably one of the biggest birthday bumpers for ages. Anyway, I better just uh, congratulate Andrew because he was really nervous about doing the drilling. And he's done a hell of a job doing the beans. The film just looks stunning. It's like wall-to-wall -wall beans and some of all the others he's done. Oh, obviously, we had a little bit of setup issues with the cladding, but this was done with the cladding. I'm, I'm happy with it. Just get the right weather. Anyway, be an interesting video tomorrow. I might go and get, have a look at something on my way back from picking up something really interesting. So I'm getting, well, a new car, basically. But you'll never guess what it is, and it is four-wheel drive, though. So, but you'll never guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Head across now. There's a link below to the Real Country File. Check that out as well. So, see you then.